Judd is a name brand of engines produced by Engine Development Limited, a company founded in 1971 by John Judd and Jack Brabham in Rugby, Warwickshire, England. Engine Developments was intended to build engines for Brabham's racing efforts, and became one of the first firms authorized by Cosworth to maintain and rebuild its DFV engines, but has since expanded into various areas of motorsport. Judd has provided engines for many major series, including Formula One and other smaller Formula Series, sports car racing, and touring car racing. They have been associated with manufacturers such as Yamaha, MG, and Honda, although they have mainly been a privateer engine supplier to customers. Engine history. Equals lower formulas equals. Following the departure of Jack Brabham from engine developments, Judd was hired by Honda to develop an engine for the company's return to Formula 2 in association with Ron Toronac's Rolt team. After the demise of Formula 2 at the end of the 1984 season, Judd continued to develop new engines for Honda. The first was the Judd Avenue, a turbocharged V8 engine built for Honda's kart campaign. It was first used on the kart circuit midway through the 1986 season, fielded by Gauls Racing and driver Jeff Brabham. It was initially badged as the Brabham Honda, and scored a fourth-place finish at the 1986 Michigan 500. In 1987, the engine was used for the first time at the Indianapolis 500. Brabham scored second-place finishes in 1987 at Pocono and Road America, as well as a third of the season finale at Miami. The engine became known for its reliability and superior fuel mileage. However, it was at a decided horsepower power disadvantage compared to the top engine of the time, the Ilma Chevrolet. In 1988, True Sports with driver Bobby Rahal took over as the primary team, and the Honda name was dropped from the power plant. During the 1988 season, Rahal took advantage of the engine's reliability in the 500-mile races, finishing fourth at Indy and second at the Michigan 500. He then scored the first and only IndyCar victory for the Judd engine at the Pocono 500. His 10 top 10 finishes led to an impressive third-place finish in the season point standings. Judd continued to build upgrades to the AV into the early 1990s, even after Honda had stopped badging the engines. When Honda moved into the new Formula 3000 series, Judd again developed the company's engine. Based on the architecture of the AV, the new BVV8 was a naturally aspirated variant, and would eventually form the basis for the Judd Co. Formula 1 engine. KV, after the company's departure from Formula 1, Judd returned to Formula 3000 in 1995 with the development of the 3-liter KVV8 engine. Judd built the engines that every Formula 3000 team used, although Zeitke was tasked with maintaining the over 80 engines after they were built. Although Judd stopped production of the KV in the Formula 3000 series ended in 2004, Zeitke later used the engines as a basis for the A1 Grand Prix units in 2005. Equals Formula 1 equals, in 1988, in conjunction with March Engineering, Judd made the move into the recently reintroduced normally aspirated variant of Formula 1, which would completely replace turbocharged cars in 1989. By using the existing BVV8 as the starting point for their new F1 engine, Judd saved cost while at the same time producing a customer engine that could compete on track and in the marketplace with a Ford Cosworth V8S that were standard equipment for the teams competing to the new rules. CV, the first Formula One engine developed by Judd, the CV, was built to the 3.5-liter engine formula for naturally aspirated engines. The engine shared many design features with the Judd BV engine, but was expanded to 3.5 liters. March Engineering were the first team who signed to use the Judd Cove. Reigning World Constructors champion Williams was later forced also to turn to Judd, after they lost their supply of Honda engines for 1988. In addition, Ligia also bought CVs for use in the 1988 season. Judd-powered cars finished in podium positions four times during their debut season, with Williams-led driver, Nigel Mansell, scoring Judd's first podium when he finished second at the 1988 British Grand Prix. During the 1988 season the Judd V8 was commonly the fastest of the non-turbo engines, 
and the marches of Ivan Capelli and Maura Kyogre Gelman regularly recorded higher speeds through the speed trap than the Cosworth DFR and DFZ powered cars with Capelli recording the fastest Atmo speed trap of the season when he hit 312 km per hour during qualifying for the German Grand Prix at Hockenheim. At the 1988 Japanese Grand Prix Capelli's Judd-powered March 881 became the first naturally aspirated car to lead a lap of a Grand Prix since 1983, when he briefly passed the McLaren of two-time World Drivers champion Alain Prost for the lead on lap 16 of the 51-lap race. For the 1989 season, Judd developed the all-new narrow-angle Judd DV, with a more compact 76-degree V-angle, rather than the more conventional 90 degrees of the Judd AVCV, and the Cosworth DFV series. Construction of the CV continued as a cheaper alternative for smaller teams, however. Team Lotus and Eurobrune were the only CV customers, with Lotus finishing sixth in the Constructors' Championship. Eurobrune was originally the only team to continue with a CV unit into 1990, but Life eventually bought CV units to replace their failed in-house design. EV, the previous Judd Cove was designed with a conventional 90-degree engine block. Following the 1988 season it was decided that a narrower V-angle would be adopted to give a more compact engine. The original intent was a 75-degree V, but limitations in Judd CNC equipment meant that 76 degrees was used instead. March Engineering upgraded their 1988 CV unit to an EV in 1989, while Brabham was also supplied with the new engines. Brabham and March each scored one podium with the EV engine. Both teams continued with the EV in 1990, although March Engineering was renamed Leighton House Racing. Leighton House took the engine's only podium of the season, a second place at the French Grand Prix. For 1991, Team Lotus was the only team to use the older EV. GV, in the normally aspirated 3.5-litre formula, 10 and 12-cylinder engines had proved to be more powerful than V8S. This prompted Judd to replace the CV and EV V8S with an all-new engine in 1991 for the BMS Scuderia Italia team. The new 72-degree angle V10 engine would carry the GV name. The engine was powerful, helping the team to a podium finish in the San Marino Grand Prix. Judd's agreement with Scuderia Italia ended following the 1991 season, leaving the GVs to be used by the Brabham team and newcomers Andrea Moda Formula in 1992. Neither team scored a point all season and Judd engines pulled out of Formula One. Yamaha Partnership Following Judd's withdrawal from Formula One in 1992, John Judd turned to Yamaha to continue production of his engines. Using the Judd GV510 as a base, Yamaha developed an all-new cylinder head and branded the motor as the OX10, for use by Tyrrell Racing in 1993. Once again, Tyrrell were unable to score any points all season. An improved OX10B for 1994 boosted Tyrrell's performance, as the team scored a podium and finished sixth in the Constructors' Championship. Rule changes in 1995 saw the OX10C reduced to 3 litres, although the architecture of the engine was generally the same. Tyrrell's performance fell off again however, as the team scored 5 points and finished 8th in the championship. 1996 saw the same points total from Tyrrell, although the new Yamaha OX11 engine was an all-new design. After 1996 Tyrrell switched to using Ford-branded engines. An updated C-spec version of the OX11 was used by Arrows in 1997. Featuring a new bottom end, with changes consisting of a revised sump, crankshaft, oil pump and water pump. The OX11C had an extremely low center of gravity but was underpowered and most of all unreliable. Consequently, a D-spec was introduced for the fourth race at Imola, with significant improvements in the airflow management of the combustion chamber area which permitted the OX11D to gain 20 horsepower, which along with superior Bridgestone tires propelled Damon Hill to a second place at the Hungaring, the 11th race of a year that otherwise was pretty lackluster with Pedro Diniz's fifth place at the NAR one quarter Rebergring as a last high point before Yamaha consequently pulled the plug on the failing project. Equals sports car racing equals GV10, in 1991. 
the World Sports Car Championship introduced an engine formula nearly identical to Formula One. This was an attempt to decrease cost by allowing sports car teams to purchase Formula One engines, while at the same time encouraging major sports car manufacturers to enter Formula One. This allowed for Judd to offer their GVV10 to customers following modifications to meet the endurance requirements necessary in the World Sports Car Championship. As financial troubles hit other teams, the Judd V10 became one of the few privately funded engines for the top C1 class. Mazda was forced to turn to Judd to replace their outlawed rotary engines, although the GV10S would be rebadged as Mazda MV10S. Euro Racing the other half of Euro Brune, also purchased GV10S for their Lola T92-10s. Mazda finished third in the team's championship while Euro Racing took fifth. The World Sports Car Championship was cancelled in 1993, quickly ending Judd's first brief involvement in sports car racing. GV4, after engine involvement with Yamaha in Formula One, Judd returned once again to sports car racing. Believing that a large naturally aspirated engine would be fitting for use as a customer supply in the Sports Racing World Cup, Judd resurrected the GV10 from a few years earlier. Expanded to 4 litres and upgraded with new technology, the new GV4 became a favourite choice for teams not running the dominant Ferrari 333 SP, eventually winning the championship with Racing for Holland in 2002 and 2003. In 2000 a Doran Ferrari 333 SP Judd Hybrid appeared, the performance of the Judd engine being deemed superior to that of the six-year-old Italian unit, which was no longer supported by Ferrari. The GV4S also became powerful enough to contest for overall wins in the 24 hours of Le Mans, with Recca de Lara's running the GV4 finishing 5th and 6th in 2002 as well as an overall victory for Doran Lister at the Rolex 24 at Daytona the same year. The engine's reliability record at Le Mans was still patchy and, while it could challenge for Poland Ohms and Dallaras, the engine revs had to be reduced to ensure it survived the race. KV675 In 2001, the Automobile Club de l'Ouest, organizers of the 24 Hours of Le Mans, announced new regulations for Le Mans prototypes. The smaller LMP675 category would allow naturally aspirated V8 engines up to 3.4 litres. Using the design of the Formula 3000 KV V8, Judd expanded the engine to the maximum 3.4 litres and reinforced it for endurance racing, creating the KV675. In its debut year, the KV675 won the LMP675 championship in the American Le Mans series for Dick Barber Racing. However, factory-supported efforts by MG and then Zeitg were the dominant efforts in LMP675, so the KV675 only won its class at the 2004 24 Hours of Le Mans. It also won the LMP2 class championship in the ALMS in 2005. Both victories were for inter-sport racing, installed at the back of their Lola B2K-40. GV5, in 2002, Judd introduced a variant of the GV4 known as the GV5. The engine capacity increased to 5.0 litres was an attempt to reduce revs, increase torque, and increase reliability. The GV5 quickly proved its capabilities over the GV4, when it took second place in the team's championship in the Rolex Sports Car Series in its debut year with Doran. Pescarolo Sport later went on to finish fourth at the 2004 24 Hours of Le Mans with a GV5. The following year, Pescarolo finished in second place at Le Mans and won the team's championship in the Le Mans Endurance Series. The GV5 received an upgrade in 2006, using lighter materials to decrease the weight of the unit by 20 kilograms. The GV5 S2 showed its performance by taking the Pescarolo to second place once again at Le Mans behind Audi's A10, as well as winning every event in the Le Mans series season. The engine was further upgraded in 2007, with an increase in displacement to 5.5 litre to produce even more torque while attaining the maximum power at lower RPMs and improving fuel consumption. The Judd GV5.5 S2 is currently the most popular customer engine in use in LMP1 class prototypes, especially in Europe. XV675 
in an attempt to displace Ford and Cosworth as the only supplier of engines in the Champ Car World Series, Judd proposed a variant of the KV675 for use in the series through an agreement with MG, who would badge the engine. The deal did not come to fruition, but the development work performed based on the KV675 to adapt it to Champ Car was transferred to sports car racing. The improved engine, known as XV675, retained the 3.4-litre layout but included technology developed from the GV series of engines to increase revs and performance while reducing weight. The 15675 debuted in 2004 with mixed success. Ray Malik Limited earned the XV675 one of its few successes, winning the LMP2 class at the 2005 24 Hours of Le Mans but the team later switched to the advanced engine research turbocharged LMP2 engine which had become dominant in the class. It was used until 2008. DB, on September 12, 2007, Engine Developments announced their plans for a replacement for the XV675, termed the DB. Although it again retained the 3.4-litre engine capacity, the unit was entirely new. Judd planned to work closely with a top LMP2 team in order to get better testing out of the DB in 2008 before the engine was released to any customers. The engine is now found at the back of the numerous Lola B08-80 LMP2 cars in the LMS Championship where it fights for wins against the Zydecks and the rare Porsche S Spiders. Equals Touring Car Racing Equals, in 1997. Engine Developments was chosen by Nissan Motors to lead their engine development program on the Primera for the British Touring Car Championship. Nissan went on to win the Constructors' Championship in 1998 and 1999, with Laurent Ronello winning the driver's title in 1999. As part of MG's involvement with Judd elsewhere, the two worked together on MG's return to the British Touring Car Championship in 2004. Judd developed the K2000 engine for the MG ZS, with Anthony Reid finishing fourth in the Drivers' Championship in their debut year. However, MG's financial troubles forced the company to drop out of the championship soon after, leaving the K2000 open to customers. Des Wheatley installed the engine in an milligram metro and won the British Rallycross Championship. References External links Official website 134judd.com a private project to make the ultimate hill climb machine.